Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 4 of my Building a Nation Challenge series here on Football Manager 2020, where I am managing not just Mumbai City FC, but also the Indian national team, just to make things as difficult for myself as I possibly can. And today, guys, we have got not one, but two games of football for you. First up, we are taking on Chennai at home in the league with Mumbai City. And then after that, we've got a massive game in World Cup qualifying as we take on Saudi Arabia, favourites to win our group. If we can get a result there, that would be massive. So I'm looking forward to both these games. Hope you guys are as well. And so let's go and see how we've been getting on since we was last together. You last saw this game here against Jamshedpur. 2-0 win there. Very nice, comfortable performance. Couple of goals from Chermiti. And then following that, we had another 2-0 win. Not quite so comfortable. It took us till the 78th minute to break down Odisha. But we did eventually break him down from the penalty spot. And then Chermiti got himself another goal. So that's him on quite a few goals for the season. How many is he on? He is on four goals from six starts. Which is very impressive. So I'm very happy with that. And as well after that, we had a very, very disappointing performance. A 4-1 loss to top of the table, Bengalaru. Sunil Chetri with a couple of goals, which is a good sign for us on the national front, but not so good on the club front. So, yep, he got a couple of goals. Manu Onru got another couple as well. And Amin Chamiti scored in his third game in a row there to get us our consolation. But that was a very disappointing result all round. And then this game here, Kerala Blasters. What a back and forth game of football this was. They took the lead in the 34th minute. We equalised from the penalty spot in the 52nd minute when their man Raju got himself sent off. But then they retook the lead two minutes later through Bar Ogbechi. But then Adam Marriott finally got his first goal for the club. I was so happy. Hopefully that means now he's got one, he's going to start banging them in. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough for us to get anything out of the game. As Bar of Beachy again stepped up and got the winner from the 88th, in the 88th minute. So yeah, very disappointing result there in one hell of a game. And that leads us to where we are today, where we are going to be playing Chennai in the league. And let's go and have a look and see where we are in the league. As you can see, we're 7th in the league. We've played 7 games. We've got 8 points and a goal difference of minus 1. So that really needs to be improved upon. And as you might have just seen in the schedule, the last couple of games we played, we played a 4-4-2 and we lost them both. So, I am going with a new tactic for this game. We are going with a 4-3-1-2. We have got Amrinder Singh in goal. Chakraborty on the left-hand side of the defence. Jingen and Gurdjic in the centre of the defence. And Galoy on the right-hand side. And then in the middle, we're really trying to pack the middle of the midfield. I think that's where we are strongest. So we've got Rainier Fernandez as a Mazala. We've got Mercado as the deep line playmaker. And Borges as another Mazala on the right hand side. And then we've got Larby playing as an enganch just behind Chermiti, who's a pressing forward. And Adam Marriott in his favoured poacher role. So hopefully that could be the team to get us a result today. The bookmakers have us as the favourites for this game. We're 5-4 to four to win it. We've won two out of our last five. Whereas Chennai have won only one of their last five. So hopefully we can put that to good use and we can get a result today. Let's go and get into the team talk. 
Well, okay, before we do that, uh, we're going to have to change up the team because apparently I've got too many foreigners in me starting 11. So who do I take out here? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have to take Maria out, aren't I? I don't really want to be doing that, if I'm quite honest. But I don't think I've got much choice. Rolos. Okay, so let's get Sing on in place of Mario. And hopefully, hopefully that can work for us today. You never ever know. So there you go. Very late change to the team. And now, let's get into the team talk. <laughs> Oh wow, just before we do get into the team talk, how about this for a blast from the past? Michael Chopra is still playing football and he is playing his football over in India. Where has he been since he left England? He last played in England for Ipswich and then he went, I oh know for Blackpool sorry, then he went from there to India, came back to Scotland and gone back to India. He's had quite a career, hasn't he? 108 goals from, from almost 400 appearances. Not amazing, but not terrible either. So yeah, he's had a weird career, hasn't he? I thought he had retired a long, long time ago, if I'm being honest. And so now, let's finally get into the team talk. Let's go auto and let's go assertive. Uh, it's time to put an end to this poor run of form. No reaction from the lads. I have faith. One person looks happy. Two people look happy. Two people look happy. These people are not listening to me on Team Talks yet, are they? And so, prediction time. 1-0 win. 1-0 win is what I am going to say. Come on, Mumbai. Ten minutes in, it's Chennai with a throw in. The ball goes to top right, gets crossed into the box. Jingan heads away, but only goes as far as Sydney, who crosses it in. We again try to get it away. It goes back to Crivelio. He plays it wide. Lalange, well, that's, a, that's a mad name. Lalangeula, he tries to play it again, but we get it back. And Galois crossed it into his own box. Demands a nutter, and they have had a shot. And thankfully, that goes over the bar. Ooh, well, that's a very short first half. Just the one highlight. But you can see that Chennai have been absolutely dominating us. Seven shots to our none. One on target they've had. 54% of the ball. This new tactic does not look like it's working just yet. I might just go back to the 4-4-2 for the time being. I think that's what we're going to do. And have I got it saved? Please tell me I, ha I have that particular formation saved. Yep, there we do. There it is. And so, yep, that's what we're going to leave it at. No substitutions just yet. Just a different change of uh, shape for the boys. So let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. Uh, I'm far from pleased. They're all motivated. They're all fired up. Hopefully, the second half might be a little bit better. Finally, 65 minutes into the game, we have a highlight. Singh, with the ball, goes to Galoy, who crosses it in. Chermiti is unable to get onto it, but Borges does, and he's hit the bar. And can we keep the ball in? Yes, we can. Chermiti and... Oh, no, we've got a free kick for Chermiti being offside. Okay, just 20 minutes left to go in this game of football. We're making a couple of changes. Daxina Murphy has come on on the right-hand side. And I'm going to put him and Larby both on attack. And Adam Marriott has come on up front in place of Amin Shamiti. And we are going to go for slightly longer passing. And we are going to go for a higher defensive line and a standard line of engagement. See what that can do for us in this last 15-20 minutes. Oh, here we go. A minute and a half left. We have gone very attacking. Can we do something from this spot? Chakraborty has got the ball. He's gone long. And their man heads it away. But we get it back. Borges to Fernandez. Singh goes wide to Larby. Larby tries to play it long. But it's hit their man and gone forward. 
and Gurdjieff clears the ball. It's all back and forth at the minute. Who's going to get a winning goal? There is definitely one coming, I think. Jingen plays it back to our man in goal, Singh. And he's taking his sweet time here. We've only got 50 seconds if we're going to win this, boys. And Borges with the ball now in the midfield. He goes long, but to nobody in a white shirt. This has been a very, very poor performance from us. And now don't let them win it right at the end. Lalan Zulia, Sydney. He goes wide, goes to Singh, goes to T-Singh. There's so many Singhs on, on this pitch at the minute. Chakraborty, Larby. And now, come on, what are we going to do? Chakraborty goes long. Marriott cannot win it back. And our man there has lost the header. And I'm hoping now this is just a very long end of game highlight. But I don't think it's going to be. As the ball goes out. And in fact I might be wrong. Surely the referee's going to blow his whistle. That's what the highlight was for. That never even looked like it was over the line. This game eh. The highlights it shows you sometimes. But at least it was something to watch, I suppose. As, yeah, that was a dreadful game of football. I can only apologise, lads. We had five shots, two there, seven. Only the one on target in the whole game. And possession was very much down the middle. Awful performance from both teams. Uh, I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. They're fired up. They are motivated. And okay, lads, I'll be back with you in a minute for the India versus Saudi Arabia game. Here we are for the big World Cup qualifier. It is Saudi Arabia versus India. Can we make it two wins out of two? We've got some big news in central defence as Jingen from Mumbai has missed out on this squad due to not being in good enough form. So this is the team we are going with for today. We have got Sandhu in goal, Das at left back, Idafaduka at centre back, Malik alongside him, Chetri on the right hand side and then in midfield it's Raul Desai, Lingdot and Fernandez are in the centre of midfield and Susuaj in the right hand side and up top it is Chetri and Chowdhury alongside one another and the team is not looking the fittest but it's gone for the best team that we could. So hopefully we can get a decent result out of this game. Let's go and get into the match preview. <laughs> Saudi Arabia are massive favourites to win this game. 1-6 to six on to win it. Wow. Okay. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Where are Saudi Arabia ranked in the world? They are 66th in the world, whereas we are 91st, which is our highest ever rating for India, apparently. And so, yeah, let's get into this slaughter. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the dressing room. Again, no opposition instructions have been set. But yeah, I'm going to go go out there and carry straight on from where you finished your last game. A few of them are motivated. One more there. One more there. And up top, nobody else. So only five players motivated. Prediction time. Do I go with my heart or do I go with my head? I'm going to go with my heart. Nil-nil. I want another nil-nil game. If we can get a draw out of this, I will be over the moon. Seven minutes in, Saudi Arabia with their first highlight. The throw-in goes in and they've worked it into the box. But our man there, thankfully, making that look easy, keeping the ball there. And now, can he start us on a counter-attack? Some point this year, mate. Come on, fella. He's thinking about it. And finally, he goes short. And it goes to Malik. He goes long. And he gets headed away. Oh, no. This is them coming at us once more. The ball's gone wide. Al Dasari with it. Crosses it in. And we get it away. And Lingdor clears the ball there. But no, to none of our men. 
this is going to be our problem today. We're just going to be humping it and lumping it. And are they in? 1-0. That did not take long. Salam al Darazi with the goal there. Oh, how many is this going to be? Galeb with the ball went back to his man Al Dorim. And then over the top it went. And Al Darazi with it. Or Al Dazari. And yep, yeah, that is it. 1 0. This could be a cricket score, lads. 25 minutes gone. Saudi Arabia with a corner. It's gone wide, but Adam has kept it in. He crosses it in from the other side. Lindor heads it away. And it's all oh, thought that was going to be 2 0. But the post has come to our rescue. And we've got the ball away. But again, we just cannot win it when we've played it long. And now Raul Desai coming forward. Can he get us an unlikely equaliser? He's crossed it in. And what has he done there? What was that for? Lindor now with a free kick for us. And they head it away. And now Adam is on the counter attack. Are we going to get caught out here? It's Adam with it. Adam coming forward and we've tried to foul him there, but it's not worked. He just got the ball to a teammate who has had a shot. And Singh Sandhu with the very comfortable save. And wow, that is half time. We have not had a sniff in this game of football. Saudi Arabia have only scored the one. So that gives us a little bit of hope. But they have had 10 shots, 2 are none, 3 on target they've had, 65% of the ball. It has been all Saudi Arabia. Let's see if we can go for a different tactic to try and get back into this. Uh, do we go for the 4-4-1-1 or do we go for my Everton tactic? Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da 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 yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for the 4-3-3. And so, Chetri goes up top on his own. And Chowdhury, we're going to get him off for... I have no idea. Andrew Singh, let's get, him, let's get him on. Let's see what he's like. And yeah, leave it at that. You know what? Go attacking. We've got nothing to lose. And so, let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. I expect to see a much better showing from you in the second half. And yep, just one person is stressed. Let's go passionate. You weren't that bad, but you can still improve. Nope, he doesn't think he can. So, okay, second half. This could be anything. This could be absolutely anything in the second half. And now just a minute into the second half, we've got the ball. Chetri with it. Goes back to Santu. And Santu on the six yard box. Taking his sweet time. Goes out wide to Das. And Das goes to Desai. And Desai is coming forward with the ball. Come on lads. He goes back to Singh who just about pops it forward. Chetri's in. And oh that could have been the equaliser. That could and maybe should have been the equaliser. But he was offside apparently. I'm just now seeing and now, us again with another highlight. This is definitely better here in the second half. Chetri with the ball coming forward. They head it away. Goes to Fernandez to sing. And he goes over the top. Chetri's in again. Chetri is in. Can he put the ball in the back of the net? No, he can't. He took forever to take that shot on. Saudi Arabia now with the ball off our throw in. So many more highlights now as they are coming forward. Al Moraled coming forward with the shot and thankfully that was quite awful. Half an hour left. Sandhu with the ball. Goes to Chetri. To Malik. To Singh. To Idofka. He goes long and Chetri tried to get onto that but was unable to. And now it's Al Faraj with the ball out wide. Goes to Moraled. Moraled coming forward with it. Is he going to cross it in? Oh, Das has got it off him. Very nicely done there, but Saudi Arabia again have it. Galeb with the ball goes forward to Al Moraled and he goes to his mate Al Moraled. And all oh, decent block there, but Farhad Al Moraled makes it 2 0. And you know what? I think that's game over, boys. I think that is game over. 
we had a chance at 1-0. And in this second half, we've played all right. Who knows what would have happened if we'd have started with this 4-3-2-1 formation. But Saudi Arabia are now two goals to the good. And, ooh, are they saying this might have been offside? No, he was on. He was on, unfortunately. 20 minutes left to go now, and we're just making the one change. Our guy from Mumbai, Daxina Murphy, is coming on in place of Shusirad. Let's just see what, if anything, he can do, as we're going to put him on an inside forward, and Desai as well, to see if we can get a bit more support up there for Chetri. And we're going to go longer passing, and focus play down the wings, and hit early crosses, and shoot on sight. So, 20 minutes left to go, let's see what happens. Five minutes left to go in the game, and Saudi Arabia on the edge of our box, Galeb with it, goes to Ataif, and can we win it back? No, we can't. Goes out wide to S. Al Malawed, who scores. Ah, oh, 3 0. 3 0 now. This was to be expected. This was very much to be expected, I believe. As you see the ball go out wide from Otayef to Al Malawed, and he puts the ball past a keeper who. Did very, very poorly there. He should have been saving that, I think. 3-0 down now, and Saudi Arabia have got yet another highlight with three and a half minutes left. Al Dazari tries to get it in, goes to Asiri, who's hit the bar and it's four. No, it's not, it's offside. It's offside, thank God for that. And that is the full-time whistle. We have lost the game, three goals to nil. Saudi Arabia have had 22 shots, 2 are 7, 5 on target, 2 are 1, 60% possession, 2 are 40, they dominated it, they definitely deserved the win, so let's go team talk, let's go, I can't fault any of you for your performances, and yet they're relaxed and they're motivated, and so let's go and see when we're going to come back. For the next episode, we are going to come back for... I think I want to try and get quite a few games done now, actually. And so, let's see if, let's see when the next India game is. India's next game is in not long. Might just skip, might just skip the old T Tajikistan game, actually. And Cambodia. Oh, actually, you've already played Cambodia. You know what, we're going to come back at the start of December for the Gurati game. Or do we? There's a bit of a break there. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We'll come back for the Gurati game, the last one before the break. And so guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content, including my Kings Lynn series. I'll be putting the thumbnail up there in a second. And yep, guys, follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And check out the Passion for FM Lads. Check out the Passion for FM website, the Discord, the Twitter, the Facebook, all that fun stuff. Check all that stuff out. And yep, I shall see you next time for the next episode of the King's Lynn Save. See you then. Bye.